Hey guys, Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division 2 video. Now, a bit of a quicker one. Today I'm going to show you how to get a secret outfit, well, a secret World War 2 looking outfit in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. But of course, before I do get into that, I do just want to remind you that we are still running a giveaway this month, and that's for the chance to win a limited edition Pokemon Let's Go Nintendo Switch console. And to enter that, simply follow the link down in the description. Now, unlike the Hunter Mask, this one isn't going to include some mad riddle for you to solve. All you're going to want to do is come to this area on your map. It's easiest if you fast travel to the Truman safe house within the Foggy Bottom district. Once you've done that, make your way west until you get to a small courtyard looking area. Once you're here, enter a room that's full of some lockers, go down a manhole, and you'll be presented by a female NPC. Speak to her and she will give you the mission that's tied to the secret World War II outfit. Exit out of that room by going back up the ladder out of the manhole, turn right, and as you go up the hill, you'll soon proceed into another courtyard area. Here you're going to have to kill some enemies, but once you've cleared out that courtyard, enter the observatory. Now this was the part I spent most of the time on because I had no idea what I was meant to be doing. But head upstairs inside the observatory and as you do reach upstairs there's a painting pretty much directly in front of you. And this is, like I said, the hardest part. All you have to do is go up to that painting, interact with it, your agent will pull it off the wall and reveal a button. Once that button's revealed, again interact with it and then head to the back of the floor you're on and you'll see a bookcase sliding and revealing a secret passage. Now it's all pretty straightforward from here. As you're exploring the bunker, you'll come across a room with a desk just right in the middle of it. Walk to the back of the desk and interact with the chest of drawers, and then this is the last interaction you're gonna have to do pretty much. Grab the map and then Isaac will come online and say that's enough treasure hunting for today and you'll begin to make your way out of the tunnels. Just before you do, you'll enter another room where you're going to have to defeat some more enemies, pick up the card key, leave the room and that's when you're presented with your new World War 2 outfit. Now, once you do complete that mission, it also opens up another mission. This is called the G. Phillips Protocol. Now, there's not much to this. It's a bit of a weird mission. As soon as you go to this area on the map, Walk through the corridor on your left, there'll be a door you can shoot the lock on. Shoot the lock, enter the second room, and when you go downstairs, there's just a whole bunch of loot, and that's it. You'll just get the mission completed, and like there's nothing else to it. It's a bit of a weird mission. Um, there's a lot of theories going around that there's something to do with a light on the wall, but at the moment, we haven't figured it out. So yeah, that's all there is to this mission. Like I said, it's pretty easy to get the outfit. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, let us know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And uh, if you do have any theories on what the second part of this mission, the G. Phillips Protocol mission could be, then uh, I'd love to read them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.